as a note before the actual vlog. I'm letting you know that some of the links that I talk about in here are going to be linked below as well as more, including MSN not only did the top baby names, but they also talked about what you could name siblings of children you've already named. So like, if you like the name Scarlet, you might also like blah 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 blah. Or um, if Scarlet had brothers, boys names that would go good with Scarlet. So it's just kind of interesting because all the names that they chose for Scarlet were names I actually really really liked. So I'll link the link to the one with Scarlet's name below and you guys can then go from there and type in your own kids names. Okay, on to the vloggy bits. That way. Hey guys, this is going to be a series of videos and they will always sort of have that same title. Hopefully I'm pointing at the FAQ part. FAQ, am I? Who knows, because YouTube changed and went through puberty and now it's something else. But frequently asked questions, dash, and then whatever question I'm answering. I'm hoping that I can record a bunch of them tonight because the Beeble Girl and Ryan have fluttered away. I don't know why they fluttered, that's weird, but they did. And I am going to try and get a bunch of these videos out, and then I'll stack them throughout my normal bits and clips world. So maybe you'll see this little get up and this hair did um, every five or six videos where I'll be sticking one of these in. Um, so a couple things to look out for in this series, my series of frequently asked questions videos. One, probably bloopers. I usually have a lot of false starts, and although once I start, I just keep going, but I screw up a lot at the very beginning, so I'll try and include bloopers at the end, unless they're way too long, then I won't do it. Two, I will put a Beeble clip at the end of this, because I tried to start recording this video with her eating, and I got too distracted making sure that she wasn't choking or trying to stand up or doing all the things that Beebles do, but I'll put a little clip of her at the end, because videos are always better with a little ble Beeble blip. Blip, oh... Beeble. Yes. And then three? No, just two. Yeah, just two. Okay, so this first frequently asked question is really relevant for today. I'm so on top of it. Because, if I upload this tonight, that is, uh, MSN did their top 100 baby names. Actually, it was um, Baby Center, and MSN did an article on it. So Ryan sent it to me, and he sent me the top eight names, which for girls and boys I will list below. And then, you know, we sort of were thrust back in time when we had been deciding Scarlett's name. And most of the popular names were ones that I loved, which is why they're popular. They're beautiful names, right? But I didn't want to have a baby that, um, or a kid, that was going to have two or three or five or six of the same kid in her class. Since I worked at a preschool at that time while I was pregnant, we had that. I had several classes at once, and it was, you know, constantly trying to make sure that we had the kids sorted by their last initial or whatever, the ones that had the same name. So I was pretty adamant about not wanting a really common name, even though a lot of those really common ones right now are so beautiful. So this is going to be the story of how we named our beautiful baby Beeble Girl. Long ago and far away, in a land of dating status, when Ryan and I, before we were married, uh, we talked about baby names. Uh, we knew we were going to get married for a long time. Ryan before I did. But that's another frequently asked question of how we met and how he proposed for another day. And um, one day we were driving, we were talking about baby names, and all of a sudden he said something about really liking the name Scarlet. And I was like, yeah, it's pretty. I like it a lot too, especially when you say it like that, Scarlet. <laughs> but some people go Scarlet or Scarlet, <laughs> and I don't think it's as pretty. It's really harsh, you know. The scar part of it is kind of hard to swallow. And then also, this is really going to sound up my own patukas. I'm aware. I'm aware. Okay. But I get told probably once a month in real life, and even more online because you guys are full of compliments. Compliments just ooze out of you guys. I love it. Thank you. Um, that I look like Scarlett Johansson. Now, reality is here. <laughs> I live in reality and I am aware that Scarlett Johansson is well endowed in ways that I am not and totally should be. She's also way thinner and slimmer in ways that I'm not. She's super short. She's blonde. I've actually said this in a vlog a long time ago, but I keep getting comments that say that and I never know how to respond other than thank you. It's a super compliment. It really is. There must be something in the way we talk or the, our gestures or something like that that reminds um, people of her of me or something. So I hear the like, you look like that girl from the Nanny Diaries quite a bit. I had one girl at IHOP really think I was her. She didn't have all her wheels ticking though. <laughs> 
So anyways, then, um, so I told Ryan, I was like, you know, I really don't want to name my child Scarlett because if I, if Scarlett Johansson keeps being really relevant and big and I keep hearing that, people are going to think that that's why I named my daughter that and I really don't want them to think that. Man, and, and he thought that was a dumb reason, which it kind of is. It is dumb, but it really did bother me at the time. So we sort of set that down for a while and then we got married. Yay! And then we're going along being married and then we got pregnant. Oh my gosh, super yay! And then it's a girl. Oh, cherry on top of yay cake. Yay. So as soon as it's a girl, Ryan's like, Scarlet. And I went, what about Olivia? And he said, too common. I said, what about Hazel? And he said, sounds like nasal. If you have a daughter named Hazel, Ryan's wrong. I know it's a beautiful name, but Ryan said, no. I said, what about Ivy? He said, too hippy dippy. Everything I said, he was like, mm, I don't know. Mm. The only ones that he was kind of maybe sure, yeah, maybe-ish were Sophia and what was another one? Maybe, I, I think we said Audrey for a second. I don't know. But he was so in love with Scarlett. So we didn't name her. In fact, we called my belly Pippa. And that was, had nothing to do with the royal family because at that time that was not relevant. There was no royal family hubbub over here. So you didn't hear about that. Pippa came from a variation of Pippi Longstocking, who I love. I love little spunky, mischievous heroine girls in books. So when I was decorating the nursery and wanted to do like a Pippi's tree house, which you guys have seen in my nursery tour, I just started calling her Pippa. So everything became Pippa's car seat, Pippa's this, Pippa's that. Um, it's weird now to think of that. That feels like my pregnant belly, like the actual pregnant belly. <laughs> is Pippa when I think of it. But Scarlet being the girl that actually was who we were talking about, she is not Pippa. Mm, weird brain connection things going on. Ooh, I paused. If you know what I'm talking about when I say pause and do this, that means you're old, because I'm old and I know what that means, pause. Do you know? If you don't know, you're young. Feel good about yourself right now, because you're so young. So anyways, Ryan loved it, kept going with Scarlet. I tried a couple of names out for a while. Um, and it just came down to all the ones that I loved were too much in the top 10, top 20 names right now. And I just really wanted something that people were familiar with, but wasn't super duper popular. So I didn't want to go crazy unique. I wasn't going to go like off the wall unique. I wanted to, you know, do, oh, that's a nice name. I know of that name. I haven't heard that name in a while. And Scarlet fit that bill. I also like the let part of it on the end. I really thought, since I like old-fashioned names a lot, that I would nickname her Letty, Lotta, what's another one you can do off of that? Lottie. Um, I know some people are really against nicknames. It's like, why don't you just name your kid the thing you're going to call him anyway? But it didn't bother me. I liked it. So that's what I thought I was going to do. Then um, I, when I finally decided, yeah, okay, we can go with Scarlet. The reason why was because Ryan loved it so much and I started to fall in love with the fact that I had this man who was so excited about this baby girl daughter coming, that he was going to be a daddy to a daughter and he already had a name that he loved. It was just a very like connection, new daddy, new way of light to see him and it made me fall in love with the name too. So Scarlet she was. So um, I picked her middle name. Ryan wanted her middle name to be Marie because that's my name and it's both of our mother's middle names. So family name, but I just thought, no, I don't want to do that. I will pick her middle name. And I'm actually not going to share her middle name here because um, it's too much personal information for the internet and, you know, finding social security numbers and things like that. It is kind of unique. So we're not going to do that. Sorry. I know that's a bust. That is her, how she got that name. As far as the Babel world goes, who knows? That just popped out one day and apparently it stuck. Not only did it stick, but she has every characteristic that I didn't know a Beeble should have until I met a Beeble who is the girl that I call Beeble. I don't know. Um, I don't think Beebles, Ryan and I have agreed about these parameters. Beebles don't have hair. So CeeLo Green, you know, I see you drive around town with the da 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 da. He's a Beeble. Um, also Beebles, they like to do funky little facial expressions and Scarlett's go-to facial expression is her tongue as far out of her face as possible going or you can ask any of the people that we did the YouTube meetup with or watch that go watch the YouTube meetup video again you will see 
everywhere she goes, her tongue is out. I think, I don't know how it doesn't get tired. My tongue would get tired being like, all day long. So it's a Beeble thing, Beeble trait. I think it's how she keeps her Beeble balance. Also, um, Ryan and I have turned the word Beeble into poems and songs. Every song that's popular in the top 40 right now, we figured out how to make it be about Beebles. So it's just fun. And her little elfy sticky outy ears, I think they look like Beeble ears too. When she grows hair, she might grow out of being a Beeble. Who knows what she will be then. Maybe it'll be a Letta, Lottie, Loodle, whatever. Um, we do call her Scarlotta and Scarloni Baloni and Scarlito Burrito and all things like that. I'm over the scar part of it. I told Ryan I was really worried about when she got older being made fun of for having that and he said any kid of mine can take it and won't care. Hopefully we'll see if he can instill that in her. That's it. That's how we named our beautiful baby Beeble. No more bees. Scarlet. <laughs> okay, um, if this is not a million years long, which I'm not sure if it is or not, there will be bloopers at the end. There will be a clip of Scarlet at the end from when she and I tried to restart this earlier because a little bit of Beeble in every video I think makes it better. And um, the next frequently asked question I'm going to do is how Ryan and I met and then how he proposed. So stay tuned for those. Oh, pause again. Boink. Um, before YouTube went through its little puberty, coming out of its cocoon thing, uh, they were having issues. And so if you noticed in my last video, the Christmas one, I keep looking over there because I'm looking at the Christmas tree. Lights are mesmerizing. Uh, it didn't let me put up comments at first. It disabled my comments, and I didn't do that. So I went back, I think it was like a whole day or something like that, but I went back and changed it. And so now you can put comments, and I do have a bunch of questions in there for you. And one I forgot to say, which is, Colored lights or white lights? What do you prefer? White lights on the outside of the house, colored lights on the tree? Flip that. No coloreds? No lights? No coloreds. That sounded racist. You know I'm talking about multicolored lights. Sorry. Ooh. I get in trouble. This is why I have bloopers. But that's staying in because I'm at the end of this thing, so. And um, lastly, um, also in that last video, I have a little like, I need your help, community. Come, community. We need like a beam of light to send into the sky. I need a... TTC community light. What does that look like? What's the TTC signal? I know what it is. It's two little lines <laughs> on a thingy with two lights. Okay, I'm done. I'm talking about craziness now. Bye! Say hi. You say hi? You know about talking to the camera, you little fancy pants. Hi! Hi there, guys. I'm eating some puffs with my kitty ears. Anyway, oh, came around <gasps> to. Yeah, so big. There's a Christmas tree, guys, and there's lights up there. Do you know about it? It's worth clapping about. It's exciting. It's a good time, but clap very quietly because we don't want to be disturbed while eating dinner. And this is a puff. I might eat it, or maybe I'll play with it. Oh, attack puff. Attack puff. <laughs> Did you attack a puff? <laughs> attack a puff. <laughs> she likes it when I leave my eyes at you guys, and then look at her. <laughs> I don't know why. Sometimes I'm looking at the computer and I'll just go, oh, Lulu got her that time. But Lulu is begging for a puff. She would like to be attacked with puffs. Okay. So